You can talk about your Boulder Dam and your Grand Coulee Dam, but when it comes to building dams, there's no one can touch the beaver. He's the best dam builder in the country. So, let us take a look at this busy little beaver family. I hope this little fellow knows what he's doing. Well, it certainly looks like Papa Beaver has everything under control. Uh-oh. Folks, gaze upon the laziest beaver in the whole forest. Oh, hum, lack a day. Papa Beaver is angry, as you can see. And he's telling Junior that if he doesn't get busy and work, He's going to wind up in a fur coat, and he won't be wearing it. But I'm afraid he didn't make much of an impression. That's just what he did. But he scattered some breadcrumbs so he could find his way back again, just in case he should change his mind. But Junior's trail soon disappeared, for the birds in the forest ate up all the breadcrumbs. You know what, folks? I think Junior is lost. Oh, button your lip. Suddenly, out popped a wicked old wolf, just to add to Junior's troubles. Please, Mr. Information, can you help me? I dropped some breadcrumbs to show me the way home, and, and the birds ate them all up, and I'm lost. That's what I am. I'm lost, I am. <laughs> breadcrumbs? Oh, I saw some breadcrumbs down by that old tree. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Now at this point, Junior realized he was about to become that fur coat his father spoke about. Can this be the end of our poor little beaver? Is there no one to save him from this terrible fate? Don't worry, folks. All is not lost. For cruising over the forest at this very moment is none other than... Mighty Mouse!
thanks to Mighty Mouse, Junior is back home safe and sound. And does he loaf anymore? No, sir, folks. Junior is now an eager beaver. Thank <laughs> you.